Hello once again. In this video, we will learn what is a gyroscopic effect. Consider a thin disc attached at one end of the shaft. Other end of the shaft is supported by a rope. In this condition, because of the weight of this disc, this shaft will not remain in horizontal position and will fall down. What if disc is spinning? You can observe instead of falling down, shaft itself starts rotating in horizontal plane. This happens due to gyroscopic effect. To understand this phenomena, we need to know analogies between linear motion and rotational motion. In linear motion, linear displacement is represented by x. In rotational motion, angular displacement is represented by theta. So velocity v, that is linear velocity, is time derivative of displacement dx by dt. So here angular velocity omega is time derivative of angular displacement d theta by dt. Similarly acceleration again when uh, you have to differentiate v with respect to time. Here you have to differentiate omega with respect to time. Now mass moment of inertia i in rotational motion is analogous to mass m in linear motion. For example in linear momentum we multiply mass with velocity. So angular momentum we can get by multiplying moment of inertia with angular velocity. Similarly here force F is analogous to torque in rotational motion. So F is mass into acceleration. In place of mass you have to replace this with moment of inertia I and in place of linear acceleration you have to replace it with angular acceleration. Similarly kinetic energy of a body moving in straight line is half mv square while kinetic energy of a rotating body is given by half I omega square. So in place of mass you have to replace by I moment of inertia and in place of linear velocity you have to use angular velocity omega. Like displacement, velocity, acceleration, momentum, etc. Uh, all these are vector quantities. So vector quantities we know how to represent vector quantities. Vector quantities are represented by a line with arrowhead where length of line gives magnitude of the vector and uh, direction is given by its arrowhead. Similarly, angular displacement, angular velocity, angular acceleration, angular moment, momentum, torque, all these terms are also vector quantity. We have to represent all these in terms of vector. So vector means we have to represent them as a straight line. For example, a disc is rotating. Here you can see when we look from this side, this disc is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. So this disc may have some angular velocity. If you want to represent this angular velocity as a vector, you have to draw one straight line. Now this straight line will be perpendicular to this surface. That means it will be along the axis of the rotation. And direction is given here. I have direction. I have drawn direction in this side. This is given according to the right hand screw rule or right hand rule. Now, what is right hand rule? In this rule, what you have to do, you have to grab the axis in such a way that fingers represent the direction of rotation. So this is the direction of rotation. I have used this right hand. Now this fingers, direction of fingers are folded in this direction in which this disk is rotating. In that case, thumb will represent the direction of vector. Now, if this rotation, direction of rotation is opposite, if it is rotated in this direction, then you have to keep, uh, you have to grab this axis in this manner. Here you can see this, uh, uh, these fingers are along this direction. So, this thumb will represent direction of vector. So, this is my vector. So in this way, we have to represent vector. The same manner, not only angular velocity, in the same way you have to represent angular uh, angular velocity, angular acceleration, angular momentum, etc. will be represented in this manner. You can use right hand screw rule also. A right hand screw is one which when it is rotated in clockwise direction when looking from top, if you look from top, if it is rotating in clockwise direction, then screw will move forward. That means it will move in this direction. So this will be the direction of vector if you rotate right hand screw. If it is rotated anti-clockwise direction when looking from the top, then it will move upward direction. So this, is, this will be the direction of vector. In this way also you can represent a vector in rotational motion. To understand gyroscopic effect, consider one disc with uh, disc which is rotating with some angular velocity. So it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction when looking from this side. This disc will have some angular velocity and this disc will have some moment of inertia, mass moment of inertia. So momentum of this disc will be I omega and this momentum is a vector quantity which can be represented in this direction. 
uh, using this right hand screw rule if you rotate the right hand screw in anti clockwise direction when looking from this side so then right hand screw will move in this direction after some time suppose this shaft is moving in xz plane in such a way that its new position is this one so initially disc was here now disc is at this position in, now in this particular case suppose omega is remaining same i is already same moment of inertia is rem will remain same if omega is also same then in this particular condition mo angular momentum will again i omega and it will be represented in this in this way this will be the vector i omega in this particular condition now if you look here it appears that uh, momentum remains same during this motion but actually momentum is a vector quantity its magnitude is same here i omega this is the value magnitude of momentum angular momentum here uh, magnitude of mo angular momentum is again i omega but direction is changing this initial direction was this now new direction is this so angular momentum is changing so whenever angular momentum is changing there will be a couple that means you have to apply one couple which is equal to rate of change of angular momentum now angular momentum is changing so how to get this change in angular momentum for that you have to draw vectors so uh, i have drawn this x z plane here once again if you want to get change in angular momentum you have to subtract initial momentum from final momentum this can be done by drawing both vectors starting from same point so this is the final initial this is the initial momentum and this is the final momentum both drawn from the same starting point now you want difference between these two momentum then you have to draw a to b a vector so a to b this will represent the difference between ob minus oa this is ob minus oa that is difference of two momentum ab now this distance can be calculated now both length i omega oa and ob both are same this arc length can can be obtained as radius into angle so this is radius i omega into angle is d theta so i omega d theta is this arc length now this d theta is very small therefore this arc length is almost equal to this vector ab so change in angular momentum is vector ab which is equal to i omega d theta here i omega is radius and d theta is angle if you want to get rate of change of angular momentum you have to differentiate this with respect to time so rate of change of angular momentum is equal to i omega d theta by dt so d theta by dt we know this is angular velocity but now this angular velocity is the angular velocity of this axis now this axis you can see is also rotating in this direction about y axis so about y axis this axis is rotating and its angular velocity is d theta by dt so this angular velocity is called omega p angular velocity of precession uh, so this is the relation for couple i omega omega p where i is the moment of inertia of this disk about this axis omega is angular velocity of spin that means this disk is spinning with uh, angular velocity omega and omega p is the angular velocity of precession that is angular velocity of this axis now this couple is also a vector quantity which is represented by ab here so this couple will be in xy plane which is perpendicular to xz plane in this plane and this will be your couple clockwise because if you rotate this in clockwise direction it's right using right hand screw rule then it will move forward so it will be the direction of ab towards forward if you rotate this in clockwise direction then this uh, screw will move in forward direction that means this couple you have to apply this couple should be in this manner so this clockwise couple if you want this axis to remain in xz plane and move in this direction you have to apply one couple one clockwise couple which is equal to i omega omega p this couple is called active gyroscopic couple now some terminologies we will use so one this axis about which this uh, disk is spinning this axis is called axis of spin this is axis of precession about which this another this axis is rotating so there is one axis about which another axis is rotating so this axis is called axis of precession about which this axis of spin is rotating this axis is called axis, axis of gyroscopic couple this is the direction of gyroscopic couple now some planes name of the planes xz plane in which this axis is rotating this axis is rotating in xz plane so this plane is called plane of precision xy plane plane of gyroscopic couple this is the xy plane in which gyroscopic couple is applied so this plane this xy plane is called gyroscopic couple 
and why that plane is called y, uh, plane of spin it is spinning in a plane which is parallel to y that plane now i have used uh, one term active gyroscopic couple this is the couple which we need to apply if you want this axis of spin to be moved in some plane but if this axis is itself moving with some angular velocity in that case there will be one reactive couple acting because of inertia one reactive couple will act its direction will be just opposite to the active gyroscopic couple and magnitude will be same so magnitude of reactive gyroscopic couple will also be same i omega omega p but its direction is just opposite to the active gyroscopic couple i will explain what is this two so here uh, let me explain active gyroscopic couple here one disc is there which is rotating about this x axis in clockwise direction when looking from this side so this is x y plane so because of this it is rotating in clockwise direction so if you use right hand screw rule if you rotate it in clockwise direction looking from this side right hand screw will move in this direction that's why i have drawn this angular momentum initial angular momentum from o to a oa will be initial angular momentum now because of this disc there is one couple acting so this is the direction of couple clockwise couple is acting in xz plane this xz plane this uh, couple is acting perpendicular to this this will be the direction of or this will be the your active gyroscopic couple so you have to draw we know that active gyroscopic couple is drawn from the end of one point so you have to draw this active gyroscopic couple ab now this will be your final position so ob will be your final position of the angular momentum that means it the shaft will move in such a way that this momentum should move in this direction so how can we uh, how it this shaft will move it will move in this direction because when axis comes to this position if you use right hand screw rule you will get this as the final momentum uh, this axis will rotate in clockwise direction looking from top in clockwise direction if this uh, partic in this particular condition so this couple which we have applied here is called active gyroscopic couple now another case where reactive gyroscopic couple comes into effect that is inertia couple it is called reactive gyroscopic couple is inertia couple here i have taken an example of a four wheel drive you can from top it looks like this four these two are front wheels these two are rear wheels and this is rear view that means when you look from this side uh, you can uh, you can see these two wheels and these two wheels will be hidden behind these two wheels now suppose uh, if it is moving forward direction that means uh, these wheels are rotating in clockwise direction when you look from right side when you look from this side this wheel will rotate in clockwise direction so that this uh, this vehicle will move in forward direction so this is initial angular momentum now i have drawn this uh, vector oa initial momentum of this one wheel so you, in this way you can draw for all the four wheels so this vehicle is taking a right turn if it is taking a right turn then we wheel will move in this manner wheel position of wheel will be this so this will be your uh, direction of uh, final momentum so you have to draw this final momentum ob this is the final momentum so final momentum minus initial momentum that will be ab so this will be the ab and this couple is active gyroscopic couple is automatically turning in right direct in right direction in this particular case reactive gyroscopic couple, couple comes into effect and direction of reactive gyroscopic couple will be just opposite to the active gyroscopic couple now we can draw this reactive gyroscopic couple here you can see this couple will be acting in this direction in horizontal plane and effect will be anti clockwise so if this is couple in this direction so anti clockwise if you rotate anti clockwise direction then your right hand screw will move in this direction so this will be the anti clockwise couple will act this couple will act in this vertical plane and because reactive couple tends to overturn this vehicle in uh, outward direction so you will take one example of gyroscopic couple here a uniform disc having a mass of 8 kg and radius of gyration of uh, 150 mm is mounted on one end of a horizontal arm of 200 mm length so this arm length is 200 mm weight is 8 into 9.81 and the other end of the arm can rotate freely in a universal bearing the disc is given a clockwise spin of 250 rpm as seen from the disc end of the arm so this is the disc end from this end if you look this disc is rotating in clockwise direction 
determine the motion of the disc if the arm remains horizontal this so um, you can see first uh, i have drawn this xy plane so from right hand screw rule you can see this is uh, a disc which is rotating in clockwise direction when looking from this side so clockwise direction if it is moving so this is right hand screw you can see that if you rotate this screw in clockwise direction this screw will move in this forward direction that means this is the direction of angular momentum of this disc so i have drawn this vector so direction of angular momentum of this disc i have drawn here first now next is uh, because of this weight there is one couple is acting mg into l so this is the direction of uh, in, in xz plane you can see this is x uh, x axis this is z axis so x in xz plane this couple is acting and value of this couple uh, this direction of this couple is clockwise couple you can see this is acting downward direction so this couple is clockwise couple and magnitude of this couple is mgl mg into l so 9 into 9.81 into 0.2 so magnitude you are getting 15.7 so if this is a couple so this is clockwise couple so it will move forward direction so this is the direction of couple this is the direction of couple as a vector i have shown this couple as a vector here in forward direction and value of this couple should be equal to i omega omega p so that means this axis will also rotate and its axis uh, and angular velocity of axis is that is omega p we have to determine we can determine that so this will be your final angular momentum next angular momentum will be this one so this angular momentum you will get only when shaft is moving in this manner so shaft will move in this direction that means when you look from top this shaft will move in clockwise direction then only you will get this angular momentum this direction because from right hand screw rule you can see from right hand screw rule you will get this vector vector in this direction now calculation you can make moment of inertia you know that mk square mass into radius of gyration square so that will you that you will get as 0.18 kg meter square omega 2 pi n by 60 from that you will get 25.13 radian per second couple already you have calculated 15.7 the same couple so in this way you will you can calculate omega p as omega p as 3.47 radian per second that means this axis will start rotating in clockwise direction about this z axis in with angular velocity of 3.47 radian per second if you move this shaft in opposite direction in that case the direction of this uh, uh, mom uh, this angular momentum will be towards this direction that means towards this direction in this way you can calculate angular velocity of precision and you can determine uh, direction of rotation of shaft using this vector diagram thank you for watching this video